on my eyes. So, so uh, that's that, that's that, that's the pain that we are taking for the community to build. Lots of news I could hear, but but I stand strong on my path, and I stand motivated to build my community. What I said on the first day, and I go on the same way till today. So I have a special announcement for all of you. Like why we got this halted for a certain period of time. So before I do this, I'd like to say like, I have seen, I'm into the crypto industry for the last eight, nine years. I have many exchanges in many exchanges, getting themselves updated, technological innovations, improvement, getting you know, halted for 48 hours to four days to one week. I have seen many wallets not working for months for technological innovation, starting from Ethereum to Bitcoin wallets to Cardano to Polygon to Polkadot, many. So it's just a temporary halt to improve ourselves, to improve in a better way, because that is required. And astonishingly, we have 195,000 members globally registered in Fast BNB. So that's huge. I just did a Zoom call with India and you know, don't believe like it was just a minute, we had 1000 members fill up and we stand strong, we stand more strong. Our company is going forward with more motivated way. Technological glitches has been fixed. So here comes the PPT. Uh, Brian, I need uh, screen sharing. Make him co-host, Brian. Yep, you're co-host now. You can screen share. Thanks. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. Good to see you. Yep, I see it too. You're good to go. Okay, the technical of that 2022 fast BNB platform, the smart contract we call it, has been halted for a few days. And we are taking it forward. An announcement uh, from the corporates is that we have fixed the glitches and now we are just updating our smart contract to go ahead into the new journey. Slides. Issues, technical issues. What were the issues? As users might be wondering, what would a technical issue with the contract execution gas fees? As many users are indeed getting a higher gas fees for executing withdrawal function. So you have to understand one thing, when we talk of community, when we talk of building a team, when we talk of building a network, I know there are many users who haven't used Metamask, who haven't used blockchain. So they need to have a easy to use interface so that they can just go click and get their, get their hard earned money back. So this is what we are working on. And these are the issues. Encoding, issue number two, encoding. Smart contracts are a piece of code whose data in real time keeps encoding into blocks which are being generated, ledgers being updated and secretly stored in blockchain which is a true definition of blockchain. So these are the two issues that actually made us to improvise. We just halted, we never went anywhere, we halted and halted for improvising ourselves and the technology that lets us build our network and lets us build our family. So what is the solution? The issue with fast BNB, we have seed incomes, which goes way to 100 levels, where some users having as high as 12,000 referred users under single accounts. So the concept of seed income is based upon the live dividends of those referred users up to 100 levels, which are calculated on each and every block of BSC network. So when this kind of calculations with an over of 190 90K users are done, it creates not less than 300 million requests a day as seen in the below image. Any technical person would understand this, that we are running a quick node API on BSC main network. The last block height was this, and you can see this is equal to 300, near about 300 million requests a day. 
So that is a huge thing that's happening in the smart contract. But this is a problem. And that's why we stand here and we spend this last four or five days to solve this issue. And I came here to present you how we solved it. Now, which itself is a huge number. This 300 million is a huge number. And hence, it requires a certain amount of time for numbers to load up and display. So while executing such withdrawals, a sudden calculation within a block becoming unfavorable amount of computing power being vested for miners, hence the miners tends to showing up higher mining phase. Now, as the mining phase for any transaction, to be very clear, are only and only for miners and not from fast BNB. The complex, the amount of calculations, the more compounding power is required. So in order to prove Evo, we would like to present a part of code where a user can see looping inside the code itself up to 100 levels where there can be any numbers of users at any given levels without any restrictions. Okay, so you can see this code, like it's clearly mentions there are 100 loops going around. Now, though in the contract, the referral income, the referral income, which is generated only once, is not, is not, is not issue for computation as it's only once, whereas seed income creates a good amount of loops. So loops in a smart contract should be avoided whenever it is possible. So loops means you are doing heavy computation in your contract and might make it very expensive to run. Also, you may not know when a loop ends and would consume all the gas paid to execute the transaction before your code completed, thus making the transaction fail. Plus, it is harder to debug. But the best of fast BNB is the real-time seed income, which no other verified contract does. And hence, we have a huge community and a huge people following us. And today, I would be proud to announce to all of you that we have successfully solved this issue. Our smart contract stays the same. The seed income stays the same. We maintain the 100 levels. We maintain the 10 referral levels, but still we run this smart contract. Okay, so as you can see, these are famous, uh, you know, blockchain developers. They have their comments like Elliot says, loops in a smart contract should be avoided whenever it is possible. Loops means you're doing heavy computation in your contract and might make it very expensive to run. Also, you may not even know when a loop ends and would consume all the gas paid to execute the transaction. Rob says, gas is the unit of account for computational work used to pass on the cost of every transaction to the user. More work equals more gas, which costs more to execute. Imagine your CPU sent you a bill for every single operation and then imagine no more. So we were brainstorming because we were concerned about our community who joined and who were changing their lives. And we needed to put the technology in the perfect structure so that we can actually make this work. And we did it, the solution. <clears throat> What's the solution? After having conversation, can you hear me? Yes, sir, we hear you. I don't know why that is on the screen. That's funny. Yeah, uh, please do not, we respect each other. Please do not do that. Thank you know. so much. I don't know where yeah. that is. Thank you so much, thank you so much, it's okay, not a problem. So the solution, after having conversation with several miners as well as bound to hunters, which are coders by profession at Fast BNB, we did find a perfect solution. The solution is run the seed income calculations on a different node, which would only be responsible, which would only be responsible, which would only be responsible for seed income. 
though making calculations a bit slower, but though will come with correct numbers with a lower gas phase. The executions here onward would be routed to different nodes. So this is the solution. Now I am coming straight like, why did the smart contract balance go down? I would like be I would be very happy to answer this. Number one, lower BNB generation. A higher gas fees means lower transaction being executed, hence a lower liquidity being generated, which in terms yielded a lower BNB being generated to pay off dividends and sale incomes. Declining contract balance. Since 14th Feb 2020, liquidity function was not executing in conjunction to higher gas and lower transactions being executed, and hence a decline in, a, in the contract balance was observed. Next, timeline. Now, as we have solved this problem, our whole developers, database workers, database developers are on the job, and our developers are working 24 hours every day to work out a solution and put it in the, we have a solution, so they're working on it. So we would require certain amount of time for things to be coded into system and tested before we roll out the updates to life. But I would be happy to announce to everyone that fast BNB should be back by next week. I will do a Zoom again on Monday evening to announce you the perfect day next week when fast BNB will be rolling out furiously to the global market. So fast BNB should be back to life with all its power, users, and liquidity. Next, I have a good news for everyone. During development time, fast BNB is glad to announce that in total, 15 liquidity providers from different exchanges have tied up with FastBNB to provide liquidity towards contract in coming days, which is worth 100,000 BNB and above. All the liquidity providers are very happy with us and they are astonished that in such a short time period, we have 195,000 users globally. So they are happy to tie with us and they want to promote us and go ahead with the business model that we have created. And I would be thankful this wouldn't be possible without you. Your cooperation, your patience, your sticking to the business model had made this possible. So these liquidity providers have a fair amount of BNB for usages against the contract and hence a soon steep rise in contract balance can be observed when we go live. So that's another good news. Now, I, as the CEO and the developer of this project, come open into the medium and express that we are sticking to our mission and vision. Our team fully goes forward with whatever we said on the day of one. At Fast BNB, not only we, but everyone has a mission and a clear vision. We are strictly adhered to the same. One a quick note, we also would like to announce the our upcoming crypto with fiat-based exchange would be ready to join from 17th of March, 2022, adding more liquidity towards the business of fast BNB. I repeat once again, that our crypto with fiat best exchange would be ready to join from 17th of March, 2022, adding more towards the business of fast BNB. So we, we wish all the best and very good luck for joining and bringing more community towards Fast BNB. It is a small update. I just wanted to update everyone. Please do not listen to any rumors or any announcements. Any announcement that is adhered to the corporate will be announced in the official website of fastbnb.io. So with this, I would like to tell you, we are coming back soon. The solution has been found. Liquidity providers has been made more higher. We have exchanges 
liquidity provider exchanges coming to our contract, seeing the appreciated value of our users. Our crypto-based fiat exchange launching on 17th of March, 2022, brings in more liquidity to Fast BNB. So that's why we call it Fast BNB is a community development program. We are here, we are still here, and we will be running this business model in a very different way from now onwards. So it's not a sales pitch, it's the technological improvement, improvisation and updation that's happening at the back end and the corporates. I take the responsibility to announce to all of you. Please stay tuned. I will, we will have another Zoom on Monday. And on Monday, I'll announce the perfect date when we are going live. By saying that, I'd like to say thank you to all of you. Have a nice day and enjoy your weekend. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you for coming on and sharing all that with us. And But we'll end the Zoom there and look forward to another Zoom on Monday. And wow, that's some good news. So that's exciting, everybody. Have a wonderful Saturday night and have a wonderful Sunday. And we'll reconvene on Monday then. All right. See you, everybody. This is recorded. It'll get out to your teams, too.